Okay, a quick, a, a quick summary because I'm speaking in terms of codes. And what you've got here is a display of the eight codes thus far. The first letter represents life conditions. Problems A, living in the rainforest. The second letter is the adaptive intelligence to solve the problems in those life conditions. And that's the structure, that's a band. So you see, and you, this is familiar, what makes up a level are the problems of existence, the solution to those problems, the structures necessary to solve them. This gives a, a more composite view of what a level is because it contains the essential components to survive and prosper. So now, and you see here, GT, flex flow, this is yellow. <laughs> Those of you who use teal are violating basic ethical principles. <laughs> now, hand me that, that journal, middle one. The uh, first article that was, that was published that produced teal was this one. Can you open it up for me? Cut a cover. Here it is. Strategy and business. So I called the editor. And in a sequel, he produces an accurate rendition of the basic yellow turquoise elements in spiral dynamics and does not even mention Teal. He, can, he apologized to me for having made a serious editorial uh, problem for us. So this belongs to Claire W. Graves and Spiral Dynamics. Find, find some other color. Now, I need, I need to say this to you finally. You, you see the pattern here. There are warm colors, red, orange, yellow, which are expressive systems. There are cool colors, which are purple, blue, uh, uh, green, and HU, which are collective systems. The pendulum swings between the two. That's the energy in the spiral. So if you lose that s sequence, you have virtually lost the spiral. And so yellow is a warm color, as is red, as is orange, and ultimately, as will nine be. So it's the integrity of the system that I'm going to defend. It comes out of the work of Claire W. Graves, and we've used it for decades around the world.